let's get this harmonic balancer out. Finally got the right tool that I needed from Harbor Freight. This guy right here. Harmonic balancer's off. Now, we can get to the rest of this engine. case off. <laughs> Got a bracket free on the bottom. It's broken free on the top. It's free. It's free. Hmm. Where am I hanging up here? Here we go. So this is the oil housing. Here in the back, this is the distributor gear, slinger, and then the rear of the crankshaft. So there's the rear of the camshaft. Everything looks beautiful. All right, everyone. Here's where the project stands right now. So I've just kind of cleaned up everything. I've got the case ready to pull apart. I need to pull off pull out the old, well, upgraded, I guess you could say, uh, oil pickup, which is in here. Then it's time to start processing everything, get parts shipped off to William Wynn, and kind of inspect the cranks, basically see what I got. So let's start digging into this. All right, so here we go. So if you're looking at this, this is that pickup I was talking about. We're going to get that thing out right now. So all that's really holding this in is this bolt right here. So let's pull that sucker out. guys out. This should just slide on out. So I had a look at this. There's actually an access right here. Actually right here. So if you see that right there. Hopefully you can see it. Anyways, put a wood down there. A couple of taps and what do you know? Boom. She's out. This goes with this stuff here that I'm going to be basically selling with this. Keep this guy. Never know you might need that. I'll tag that later. So, what do I need? Should just need this guy right here. This guy right here. Yep, that's all I'm going to need. This should come apart. Come on, almost. And that is the last bolt on this engine. Now the roof. Careful because I don't want it just to just fall apart. <laughs> like that. And she's apart. Case half one. Crankshaft. Camshaft. It's all here. Looks like it's pretty good shape, actually. Ah, there's an error. 
that is supposed to be tight not free spinning common error but looking at this inspect this real quick all these journals really good and clean I'm not seeing any rust on them seeing any pitting on them Four nine, so it is one of the years I'm looking for this is I'm getting some glimpses here through all the oil galleries this is a perfect crankshaft again it's hard to see here but yeah no rust nothing looks perfect now some of the things I need to change are this gear right here. Look in there. So you see this gear right here? This gear is actually for an automatic. I need one for a manual, so this is going to be changed out. Pull the rest of these lifters out. We're going to. All right. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the disassembly. Um, later this year, I'm going to start the process of building this engine up so I'm gonna have to process this crankshaft it needs some work like I mentioned it needs a new bearing need a new cam new lifters get these things degreased new bearings it's gonna be some work but you know what it's gonna be fun and it's totally gonna to be worth it because that'll get me another good running Corvair motor so if you like to see like subscribe follow along especially on this Corvair build it's gonna be fun I think it'll be um, Interesting, interesting for all of you guys to see how one of these things go together. See you next time.